Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford is an American actor, writer and film producer. He gained worldwide fame for his starring roles as Han Solo in the Star Wars film series and as the title character of the Indiana Jones film series. Five of his movies are within the 30 top grossing movies of all time at the U.S. box office. Ford is also known for playing Rick Deckard in the neo-noir dystopian science fiction film Blade Runner and its sequel Blade Runner 2049 Inches, John Book and the Thriller Witness, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor, and Jack Ryan in the action films Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. His career spans six decades and includes roles in several Hollywood blockbusters, including the epic war film Apocalypse Now, the legal drama Presumed Innocent, the action film The Fugitive, the political action thriller Air Force One, and the psychological thriller What Lies Beneath. Seven of his films have been inducted into the National Film Registry, American Graffiti, The Conversation, Star Wars, Apocalypse Now, The Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Blade Runner. The U.S. domestic box office grosses of Ford's films total over 4.7 billion U.S. dollars, with worldwide grosses surpassing $6 billion, making Ford the second highest grossing. S. Domestic box office star Ford is married to actress Callista Flockhart. Ford was born at the Swedish Covenant Hospital in Chicago, Illinois to Christopher Ford, an advertising executive and former actor, and Dorothy, a former radio actress. A younger brother, Terence, was born in 1945. His father was Catholic and his mother was Jewish. Ford's paternal grandparents, John Fitzgerald Ford and Florence Veronica Niehaus, were of Irish and German descent, respectively. Ford's maternal grandparents, Harry Nidelman and Anna Lifeshutz, were Jewish immigrants from Minsk, Belarus. When asked in which religion he and his brother were raised, Ford jokingly responded, Democrat, to be liberals of every stripe. In a television interview shown in August 2000, when asked about what influence his Irish Catholic and Russian Jewish ancestry may have had on his life as a person and as an artist, Ford humorously stated, As a man I've always felt Irish, as an actor I've always felt Jewish. Ford was active in the Boy Scouts of America, and achieved its second highest rank, Life Scout. He worked at Nepawan Adventure Base Scout Camp as a counselor for the Reptile Study Merit Badge. Because of this, he and director Steven Spielberg later decided to depict the young Indiana Jones as a life scout in the film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. In 1960, Ford graduated from Maine East High School in Park Ridge, Illinois. His was the first student voice broadcast on his high school's new radio station, WMTH, and he was its first sportscaster during his senior year. He attended Ripon College in Wisconsin, where he was a philosophy major and a member of the Sigma Nu fraternity. He took a drama class in the final quarter of his senior year to get over his shyness. Ford, a self-described late bloomer, became fascinated with acting. In 1964, after a season of summer stock with the Belfry Players in Wisconsin, Ford traveled to Los Angeles to apply for a job in radio voiceovers. He did not get it, but stayed in California and eventually signed a $150 a week contract with Columbia Pictures' new talent program playing bit roles in films. His first known role was an uncredited one as a bellhop in Dead Heat on a Merry-Go-Round. There is little record of his non-speaking roles in film. Ford was at the bottom of the hiring list, having offended producer Jerry Tokovsky after he played a bellboy in the feature. He was told by Tokovsky that when actor Tony Curtis delivered a bag of groceries, he did it like a movie star. Ford felt his job was to act like a bellboy. Ford managed to secure other roles in movies, such as A Time for Killing, starring Glenn Ford. George Hamilton, and Inger Stevens. His speaking roles continued next with Love, though he was still uncredited. He was finally credited as Harrison J. Ford in the 1967 Western film A Time for Killing, but the J did not stand for anything, since he has no middle name. It was added to avoid confusion with a silent film actor named Harrison Ford, who appeared in more than 80 films between 1915 and 1932 and died in 1957. Ford later said that he was unaware of the existence of the earlier actor until he came upon a star with his own name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Ford soon dropped the J and worked for Universal Studios, playing minor roles in many television series throughout the late 1960s and early 1970s, including Gunsmoke, Ironside, The Virginian, The FBI, Love, American Style, and Kung Fu. He appeared in the Western Journey to Shiloh and had an uncredited, 
non-speaking role in Michelangelo Antonioni's 1970 film Zabrisky Point as an arrested student protester. French filmmaker Jacques Demy chose Ford for the lead role of his first American film, Model Shop but the head of Columbia Pictures thought Ford had no future in the film business and told Demy to hire a more experienced actor. The part eventually went to Gary Lockwood. Ford later commented that the experience had been nevertheless a positive one because Demi was the first to show such faith in him. Not happy with the roles being offered to him, Ford became a self taught professional carpenter to support his then wife and two young sons. Casting director and fledgling producer Fred Roos championed the young Ford and secured him an audition with George Lucas for the role of Bob Falfa, which Ford went on to play in American Graffiti. Ford's relationship with Lucas would profoundly affect his career later on. After director Francis Ford Coppola's film The Godfather was a success, he hired Ford to expand his office and gave him small roles in his next two films, The Conversation and Apocalypse Now. In the latter film, he played an army officer named G. Lucas. Harrison Ford's previous work in American Graffiti eventually landed him his first starring film role. When he was hired by Lucas to read lines for actors auditioning for roles in his then upcoming film Star Wars, Lucas was eventually won over by Ford's performance during these line reads and cast him as Han Solo. Star Wars became one of the most successful movies of all time and established Ford as a superstar. He went on to star in the similarly successful Star Wars sequels, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, as well as the Star Wars Holiday Special. Ford wanted Lucas to kill off Han Solo at the end of Return of the Jedi, saying, that would have given the whole film a bottom, but Lucas refused. Ford reprised the role of Han Solo in the sequel. During filming on June 11, 2014, Ford suffered what was said to be a fractured ankle, when a hydraulic door fell on him. He was rushed to hospital for treatment. Ford's son Ben released details on his father's injury saying that his ankle would likely need a plate and screws, and that filming could be altered slightly with the crew needing to shoot Ford from the waist up for a short time until he recovered. Ford made his return to filming in mid-August, after a two-month layoff as he recovered from his injury. Ford's character was killed off in The Force Awakens, however, it was subsequently announced, via casting call, that Ford would return in some capacity as Han Solo in Episode 8. In February 2016, when the cast for Episode 8 was confirmed, it was indicated that Ford would not reprise his role in the film. When Ford was asked if his character could come back in some form, he replied, Anything is possible in space. A Han Solo spin off movie was released in May 2018, but Ford was not involved in the production. Ford's status as a leading actor was solidified when he starred as globe trotting archaeologist Indiana Jones in the film Raiders of the Lost Ark, a collaboration between George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Though Spielberg was interested in casting Ford from the beginning, Lucas was not, due to having already worked with the actor in American Graffiti and Star Wars, but he eventually relented after Tom Selleck was unable to accept. Ford went on to star in the prequel Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and the sequel Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He returned to the role yet again for a 1993 episode of the television series The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles and even later for the fourth film Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. On March 15, 2016, Walt Disney Studios announced that Ford was scheduled to portray Indiana Jones in a fifth film due for release in July 2019. However, on April 25, 2017 Walt Disney Studios announced that the film would be released on July 10, 2020. Ford has been in other films, including Heroes, Force 10 from Navarone, and Hanover Street. Ford also co-starred alongside Gene Wilder in the buddy western The Frisco Kid, playing a bank robber with a heart of gold. He then starred as Rick Deckard in Ridley Scott's cult sci-fi classic Blade Runner, and in a number of dramatic action films, Peter Weir's Witness and the Mosquito Coast, and Roman Polanski's Frantic. The 1990s brought forward the role of Jack Ryan in Tom Clancy's Patriot Games in Clear and Present Danger as well as leading roles in Alan Pakula's Presumed Innocent and the Devil's Own, Andrew Davis's The Fugitive, Sidney Pollock's remake of Sabrina, and Wolfgang Peterson's Air Force One. Ford also played straight dramatic roles, including an adulterous husband in both Presumed Innocent and What Lies Beneath, and a recovering amnesiac in Mike Nichols regarding Henry. Many of Ford's major film roles came to him by default through unusual circumstances, he won the role of Han Solo while reading lines for other actors, was cast as Indiana Jones because Tom Selleck was not available, he also took over the role of Jack Ryan supposedly due to Alec Baldwin's fee demands, Baldwin had previously played the role of Ryan in The Hunt for Red October.
Fire. Starting in the late 1990s, Ford appeared in several critically derided and or commercially disappointing movies, including Six Days, Seven Nights, Random Hearts, Hollywood Homicide, Firewall, and Extraordinary Measures. One exception was 2000's What Lies Beneath, which grossed over $155 million in the United States and $291 million worldwide. In the 2001 Guinness Book of World Records, Ford was listed as the richest male actor in the world. In 2004, Ford declined a chance to star in the thriller Seriana, later commenting that I didn't feel strongly enough about the truth of the material and I think he made a mistake. The role eventually went to George Clooney, who won an Oscar and a Golden Globe for his work. Prior to that, he had passed on a role in another Stephen Gagan written role, Robert Wakefield in Traffic. That role went to Michael Douglas. In 2008, Ford enjoyed success with the release of Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, another Lucas-Spielberg collaboration. The film received generally positive reviews and was the second highest grossing film worldwide in 2008. He later said he would like to star in another sequel, if it didn't take another 20 years to digest. Other 2008 work included Crossing Over, directed by Wayne Kramer. In the film, he plays an ice. Homeland Security Investigations Special Agent, working alongside Ashley Judd and Ray Liotta. He also narrated a featured documentary film about the Dalai Lama entitled Dalai Lama Renaissance. Ford filmed the medical drama Extraordinary Measures in 2009 in Portland, Oregon. Released January 22, 2010, the film also starred Brendan Fraser and Alan Ruck. Also in 2010, he co-starred in the film Morning Glory, along with Patrick Wilson. Rachel McAdams, and Diane Keaton. In July 2011, Ford starred alongside Daniel Craig and Olivia Wilde in the science fiction western film Cowboys and Aliens. To promote the film, Ford appeared at the San Diego Comic-Con International and, apparently surprised by the warm welcome, told the audience, I just wanted to make a living as an actor. I didn't know about this. Also in 2011, Ford starred in Japanese commercials advertising the video game fourth PlayStation 3. 2013 began a trend that saw Ford accepting more diverse supporting roles. That year, Ford co-starred in the corporate espionage thriller Paranoia, with Liam Hemsworth and Gary Oldman, and directed by Robert Lukedic, as well as Ender's Game, 42, and his performance as Branch Rickey in 42 was praised by many critics and garnered Ford a nomination as Best Supporting Actor for the Satellite Awards. In 2014, he appeared in The Expendables 3 in the documentary. The next year, Harrison Ford co-starred in The Age of Adeline with Blake Lively to good notices. On February 26, 2015, Alcon Entertainment announced Ford would reprise his role as Rick Deckard in Blade Runner 2049. The film was well received by critics, Scott Cholera of IGN called it a deep, rich, smart film that's visually awesome and full of great sci-fi concepts and Ford's role a quiet, sort of gut-wrenching interpretation to Deckard and what he must have gone through in the past three decades. The Economist has described Ford's appearance in the film as little more than a cameo, despite his being used heavily in the film's promotion. The film grossed $259.3 million worldwide, far short of the estimated $400 million that the film needed to gross in order to break even. In 2018, Ford accepted his first role as a voice actor in an animated film, The Secret Life of Pets 2. That same year, with filming for a fifth Indiana Jones film having been delayed by a year, he also agreed to headline a big-budget adaptation of Jack London's The Call of the Wild, playing prospector John Thornton. Ford is one of Hollywood's most private actors, guarding much of his personal life. He has two sons, Benjamin Ford and Willard Ford who has one son, filmmaker Eliel Ford and niece model Camille Zayek, with his first wife, Mary Marquardt or Mary Ford Becker, to whom he was married from 1964 until their divorce in 1979. With his second wife, Screenwriter Melissa Matheson, whom he married in March 1983 and from whom he was separated in August 2001 and eventually divorced. He has two more children, Malcolm and Georgia. Ford began dating actress Callista Flockhart after meeting at the 2002 Golden Globes, and together they are parents to her adopted son, Liam. Ford proposed to Flockhart over Valentine's Day weekend in 2009. They married on June 15, 2010, in Santa Fe, New Mexico where Ford was filming Cowboys and Aliens. In her 2016 autobiography The Princess Diarist, Carrie Fisher claimed that she and Ford had a three-month affair in 1976 during the filming of Star Wars. 
Ford has three grandchildren. His son Benjamin, a chef and restaurateur, owns Ford's filling station, a gastropub at the Marriott, LA Live, downtown Los Angeles, and Ford's filling station at LAX Terminal 5. His son Willard is the owner of Strong Sports Gym, and was co-owner of Ford and Ching and owner of the Ludwig Clothing Company. In June 1983, at age 40, during the filming of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom in London, he herniated a disc in his back, forcing him to fly back to Los Angeles for an operation. He returned six weeks later. On June 11, 2014, Ford injured his ankle during filming of. He was airlifted to John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford, England. Ford is a licensed pilot of both fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, and owns a ranch in Jackson, Wyoming, approximately half of which he has donated Asa Nature Reserve. On several occasions, Ford has personally provided emergency helicopter services at the request of local authorities, in one instance rescuing a hiker overcome by dehydration. Ford began flight training in the 1960s at Wild Rose Idaho Wild Airport in Wild Rose, Wisconsin, flying in a Piper PA-22 Tri-Pacer, but at $15 an hour, he could not afford to continue the training. In the mid-1990s, he bought a used Gulfstream II and asked one of his pilots, Terry Bender, to give him flying lessons. They started flying a Cessna 182 out of Jackson, Wyoming, later switching to Teterboro, New Jersey, flying a Cessna 206, the aircraft he soloed in. Ford keeps his aircraft at Santa Monica Airport, though the Bell 407 is often kept and flown in Jackson, Wyoming, and has been used by the actor in two mountain rescues during his assigned duty time with Teton County Search and Rescue. On one of the rescues, Ford recovered a hiker who had become lost and disoriented. She boarded Ford's helicopter and promptly vomited into one of the rescuers' caps, unaware of who the pilot was until much later. I can't believe I barfed Dean Harrison Ford's helicopter, she said later. Ford flies his de Havilland Canada DHC 2 Beaver more than any of his other aircraft, and has repeatedly said that he likes this aircraft and the sound of its Pratt and Whitney R985 radial engine. According to Ford, it had been flown in the CIA's Air America operations, and was riddled with bullet holes that had to be patched up. In March 2004, Ford officially became chairman of the Young Eagles program of the Experimental Aircraft Association. Ford was asked to take the position by Greg Anderson, senior vice president of the IA at the time, to replace General Chuck Yeager, who was vacating the post that he had held for many years. Ford at first was hesitant, but later accepted the offer and has made appearances with the Young Eagles at the Air Venture Oshkosh Gathering at Oshkosh, Wisconsin, for two years. In July 2005, at the gathering in Oshkosh, Ford agreed to accept the position for another two years. He has flown over 280 children as part of the Young Eagles program, usually in his DHC2 Beaver, which concede the actor and five children. Ford stepped down as program chairman in 2009 and was replaced by Captain Chesley Sullenberger and First Officer Jeff Skiles. He is involved with the EA chapter in Driggs, Idaho, just over the Teton Range from Jackson, Wyoming. On July 28, 2016, Ford flew the two millionth Young Eagle at the E Air Venture Convention. As of 2009, Ford appears in Internet advertisements for General Aviation Serves America, a campaign by the advocacy group Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. He has also appeared in several independent aviation documentaries, including Wings Over the Rockies and Living in the Age of Airplanes. Ford is an honorary board member of the humanitarian aviation organization Wings of Hope and is known for having made several trips to Washington, D.C. to fight for pilots' rights. On October 23, 1999, Harrison Ford was involved in the crash of a Bell 206L4 Long Ranger helicopter. The NTSB accident report states that Ford was piloting the aircraft over the Lake Piru Riverbed near Santa Clarita, California, on a routine training flight. While making his second attempt at an auto rotation with powered recovery, Ford allowed the aircraft's altitude to drop to 150 to 200 feet before beginning power-up. The aircraft was unable to recover power before hitting the ground. The aircraft landed hard and began skidding forward in the loose gravel before one of its skids struck a partially embedded log, flipping the aircraft onto its side. Neither Ford nor the instructor pilot suffered any injuries, though the helicopter was seriously damaged. When asked about the incident by fellow pilot James Lipton in an interview on the TV show Inside the Actors Studio, Ford replied, I broke it. On March 5, 2015, Ford's plane, believed to be a Ryan PT-22 recruit, 
made an emergency landing on the Penmar Golf Course in Venice, California. Ford had radioed in to report that the plane had experienced engine failure. He was taken to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, where he was reported to be in fair to moderate condition. Ford suffered a broken pelvis and broken ankle during the accident, as well as other injuries. On February 13, 2017, Ford landed in Aviat Husky at John Wayne Airport on the taxiway left of runway 20 liters. A Boeing 737 was holding short of the runway on the taxiway when Ford overflew them. Ford is vice chair of Conservation International and American nonprofit environmental organization headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. The organization's intent is to protect nature. In September 2013, Ford, while filming an environmental documentary in Indonesia, interviewed the Indonesian forestry minister, Zilkifli Hassan. After the interview, the presidential advisor, Andy Arif, accused Ford and his crew of harassing state institutions and publicly threatened them with deportation. Questions within the interview concerned the Tesonilo National Park, Sumatra. It was alleged the Minister of Forestry was given no prior warning of questions nor the chance to explain the challenges of catching people with illegal logging. Ford was provided an audience with the Indonesian president, Cecilo Bambang Yudhoyono, during which he expressed concerns regarding Indonesia's environmental degradation and the government efforts to address climate change. In response, the president explained Indonesia's commitment to preserving its oceans and forests. In 1993, the arachnologist Norman Platt nicknamed a new species of spider Calponia Harrison for the, and in 2002, the entomologist Edward O. Wilson named a new ant species Phytal Harrison for the. Since 1992, Ford has lent his voice to a series of public service messages promoting environmental involvement for Earth Share, an American Federation of Environmental and Conservation Charities. Ford has been a spokesperson for Restore Hetch Hetchy, a non-profit organization dedicated to restoring Yosemite National Park's Hetch Hetchy Valley to original condition. Ford appears in the documentary series Years of Living Dangerously, which provides reports on those affected by, and seeking solutions to, climate change. Like his parents, Ford is a lifelong Democrat. On September 7, 1995, Ford testified before the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee in support of the Dalai Lama and an independent Tibet. In 2007, he narrated the documentary Dalai Lama Renaissance. In 2003, he publicly condemned the Iraq War and called for regime change in the United States. He also criticized Hollywood for making movies which were more akin to video games than stories about human life and relationships, and he called for more gun control in the United States. After Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump said his favorite role of Ford's was Air Force One because he stood up for America, Ford reasoned that it was just a film and made critical statements against Trump's presidential bid. Following on his success portraying the archaeologist Indiana Jones, Ford also plays a part in supporting the work of professional archaeologists. He serves as a general trustee on the governing board of the Archaeological Institute of America, North America's oldest and largest organization devoted to the world of archaeology. Ford assists them in their mission of increasing public awareness of archaeology and preventing looting and the illegal antiquities trade. Ford participated in a Star Wars promotion geared toward fans who donated to On Video Call which offered them the opportunity to purchase tickets to the premiere of The Force Awakens. In 1994, the National Association of Theater Owners named Ford Star of the Year. In the October, 1997 issue of Empire Magazine, Ford was ranked number one in the top 100 movie stars of all time. In 1998, People Magazine named Ford the sexiest man alive. For three consecutive years, the Harris Poll named Ford America's favorite movie star. Ford received the AFI Life Achievement Award in 2000. He received an Academy Award for Best Actor nomination for his performance in Witness, for which he also received Best Actor BAFTA and Golden Globe nominations. He was given the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the 2002 Golden Globe Awards and on June 2, 2003, was presented with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Three additional Best Actor Golden Globe nominations have gone to Ford, for The Mosquito Coast, The Fugitive and Sabrina. In 2006 he was awarded the Jules Verne Award, given to an actor who has encouraged the spirit of adventure and imagination throughout their career. He was presented with the first ever Hero Award at the 2007 Scream Awards for his many iconic roles, including Indiana Jones and Han Solo, and in 2008 he received the Spike TV's Guy's Choice Award for Brass Balls.
Pilots. Ford has also been honored multiple times for his involvement in general aviation, receiving the Living Legends of Aviation Award and the Experimental Aircraft Association's Freedom of Flight Award in 2009, the Wright Brothers Memorial Trophy in 2010, and the Al Whaleche Humanitarian Award in 2013. In 2013, Flying Magazine ranked him number 48 on their list of the 51 heroes of aviation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.